Not if I find a way to use its flames against him. Not if I find a way to use its flames against him. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> it's working! After a grueling battle, Taddy managed to force the terrible dragon to land. To save Alicia, there was just one last thing to do, and Teddy was ready to deliver the coup de grace. He summoned his last reserves of energy, gripped the sword tightly with both hands, and threw himself against the enemy with every ounce of fury he had in his body. The thought of Alicia was his beacon. The dragon's beating heart, his target. Teddy prepared to deliver the powerful and deadly blow when suddenly, at the last moment, Lighty removed her charm from his scissors, turning them back into two harmless pieces of rusty metal. The bear, confused, lost his balance, turning just in time to see a powerful magical ray piercing both him and the dragon. Betrayed. And defeated, he collapsed on the battlefield. Teddy was immersed in impenetrable darkness. He allowed himself to be lulled by the void. No little girl to save, no enemies to fight. Finally, he could rest. So what was that nagging sense of discomfort which was becoming more and more intense? Could the thought of having abandoned Alicia cause as much pain as being pierced by a needle? Ugh. A porcelain doll was tending to his wounds. As he was looking around in confusion, the witch cat hovered. He shivered. Was this the end? The cat reassured Teddy that nobody meant him any harm. But the time had come to clarify. To clarify what? That the demons he had killed were Alicia's dream guardians, the defenders of her inner realm. But how could the guardians have taken on such monstrous forms? The cat explained everything. Alicia's subconscious was reacting violently in order to protect her, like an immune system attacking a virus. And this virus had a name. Lighty. So that sneaky little bug had been trying to worm herself into Alicia's subconscious to corrupt her, but why had Lighty chosen him to carry out her evil plan? The answer was simple. He was the strongest and the bravest of Alicia's guardians. Was he really one of the guardians? How could he have forgotten? 
When Alicia had abandoned him in the chest, a crack of weakness had opened in his soul, giving Lighty the opportunity to put her wicked plan into action. She had wiped a vital part of his memory with a spell, causing him to forget his true role and his power. The frightful fairy had tricked him, turning Alicia's most stalwart defender into a ruthless weapon to attack her with. The defeat of each monster had nourished Lighty's magical powers, allowing her to grow stronger and stronger. Teddy was aghast. So that was why the witch cat seemed to have always known him while he couldn't remember anything. He had forgotten that she had once been his most trusted ally in protecting Alicia. He had forgotten that the cat was a unique creature that resided in the deepest part of the girl's subconscious. The cat was her limbic system, her super ego, the supreme entity that defended her unconscious self, and as such her powers could only be fully manifested in the furthest reaches of Alicia's dreams. The witch cat could only look on, helplessly from afar as events unfolded in the rest of Alicia's dream world. At first, the cat was enraged as she watched Teddy assault Alicia's dreams, but she knew that mere words would not be enough to convince him of Lighty's true nature. She decided to try provoking him, mocking his beloved mistress, hoping that his anger would reawaken his memory and rekindle his powers. Unfortunately, things didn't go according to plan. The cat was thus forced to play a more subtle game, lurking in the shadows, waiting for Lighty to reveal her true nature. Each time the witch cat met Teddy, she had absorbed as much of his power as possible in order to heal the wounded guardians. The fog in the bear's head was slowly clearing. He still had a lot of unanswered questions, but his anger at Lighty's betrayal and his determination to save Alicia awakened a strength that had lain dormant for too long. A burning fire ancient, powerful, and reassuring enveloped him. Teddy had become more savage, a feral creature. To fight a nightmare, you have to become one yourself, he finally understood. The time had come. The witch cat sent him back to the world of dreams, but nothing was as he remembered. What in tarnation happened here? Lighty ah! is feeding on Alicia's dreams. Ah! <laughs> it's funny seeing you jump with your monstrous new look. What are you doing in my head? I forced a direct link between all of us before sending you back. We are all here to help you. And to offer you what is left of our powers. Please accept them, as modest as they may be. Could you please all stop talking at the same time? Silence! You're going to give my poor teddy bear a headache. Uh... As you know, Lighty has absorbed most of our magic, becoming almost invincible. We're pouring our remaining powers into you, to give you one last chance. Uh, don't waste it! Always were the frank one, weren't you? I appreciate the frankness. I know I'm putting my fur on the line here. But I promise you, I will rip that little traitor to shreds. Now shut up and let me fight.
Hey, light bulb. How much did you eat while I was away? You? How can you still be alive? I have absolutely no intention of getting killed without destroying you first. Do your worst. I am now a goddess in this world. Ready for round two? yourself a goddess. Shut up, insolent bear! Your light was supposed to protect and reassure Alicia. <laughs> My appearance reflects exactly what I am. There's still time. No, bear. This is exactly how it's supposed to end. We dedicated our existence to- I get- It's too late for no-
so proud of you. Alicia is safe. You did it! Yes, by a whisker. My hero. I didn't do anything that special. I just... I just turned off the light. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that... Nonsense. His deeds will inspire ballads for years to come. It was a hard-fought victory. Let him have a little peace. Rest now, Teddy. You've been a very good bear. The nightmare was finally over. Alicia, illuminated by a ray of morning sunshine, opened her eyes. Her parents were there, staring at her in disbelief for a long moment. Before taking her, and holding her in a warm embrace. Who knows what challenges lay ahead for the little family. But for one magical moment at least, they all lived happily ever after.